Well, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, everyone out there in YouTube land. Welcome to my sister, Adrienne. We have uh, <clears throat> had a very busy day, the two of us, already before we even came to class. <coughs> and we're thankful that you, excuse me, that you've joined us. I got to just pause something for a minute. Okay, sorry about that. I just had to set up my mic, which I had forgotten to do. I... Uh, it's been a very busy day for us here today, and we are not recording at the usual time, but we are glad that you're here with us, studying Praising God Through Prayer and Worship by Kay Arthur and Pete DeLacy. We are currently in week seven. The title of that week, as you see, was What Pleases God. We are on day five of week seven, and we're looking at Psalm 42 today. So Psalm 42 is... a uh, has a part of it that we know very well. Uh, we've been singing that chorus for many years now. <laughs> and uh, anyway, let's go to prayer and we'll get started. Heavenly Father, thank you so much that you welcome us into your presence. And, and when we come with humble hearts, seeking your face, you delight to show yourself and to instruct us in your word. Thank you that you have never left us nor abandoned us to the evil, wicked one. We can live with hope in this world because you are our hope and our salvation. And I just am asking that this uh, study today will be a blessing to my heart, to Adrienne's heart, and to all of those who um, follow along with us. And we are expectantly awaiting your blessing. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, Psalm 42. We've got our tools ready. Uh, first, mm -hmm. of course, read through it once. Um, so that we get the overall sense, which means I'm going to have to put some glasses on because I can't see. <laughs> okay, Adrian, anytime you're ready. For the choir director, on the skill of the sons of Korah, as the deer pants for the water brook, so my soul pants for you, O God. My soul thirsts for God, for the living God. When shall I come and appear before God? My tears have been my food day and night, while they say to me all day long, Where is your God? These things I remember, and I pour out my soul within me. For I used to go along with the throng and lead, lead them in, procession to the house of God, with the voice of joy and thanksgiving, a multitude-keeping festival. Why are you in despair, O my soul? And why have you become disturbed within me? Open God, for I shall again praise him. For the help of his presence. O my God, my soul is in despair within me. Therefore I remember you from the land of the Jordan and the peaks of Hermon and from Mount Mizar. Deep calls to the deep at the sound of your waterfalls. All your breakers and your waves have rolled over me. The Lord will command his loving kindness in the daytime, and his song will be with me in the night, a prayer to the God of my life. I will say to God, my rock, why have you forgotten me? Why do I go mourning because of the oppression of the enemy? As a shattering of my bones, my adversaries revile me. While they say to me all day long, where is your God? Why are you in despair, O my soul? And why have you become disturbed within me? Open God, for I shall yet praise him, the help of my countenance and my God. Well, what words did you see repeated here that uh, we've seen before repeated? There's a lot of them. I'm just going through them. I'm <laughs> going through this. A lot of God. Um, there's some um, loving kindness in there. If you know that Thanksgiving has showed up again. Mm hmm. How about hope? No, I didn't see that. But I didn't see that. But I didn't, I didn't think of that. Okay, so that's okay. Yeah. So let's go through and do our marking then. As we go, 
all you people out there in YouTube land. I just wanted to say what it says for us to do, our instructions for today. Read Psalm 42 and mark the keywords from your bookmark. Also mark soul and despair and add them to your bookmark. Hmm. How you're going to do that. Then I'm going to read this while you're figuring that out, Adrian. The word soul is used only of living creatures. It characterizes the heart of man, his inner being. And then we're going to list what we learn about the soul from this psalm. The Hebrew word translated despair carries the sense of being low, bowing down, being humble. And then we're going to have some questions. So away we go. Hmm. As the deer pants for the water brooks, so my soul. Oh, how am I marking it? <laughs> uh. oh. Oh. I'm marking it like I mark spirit, except with a different color. How do you mark spirit? I mark spirit. It kind of looks like, uh, okay, kind of looks like little flames. When it's Holy Spirit, I put yellow on the inside of that bright and red making like flames and uh, so soul I'm going to just use pink and make flames because that has to do with me my whole my uh, I use pink for my anything that has to do with flesh or body I'm going to just do it in a way I'll remember it Words and put it on your bookmark I gotta go to the back and go through. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to do that too. We're really, uh, these uh, Bibles are really great because we can go to the back, PQRS, to our concordance. And it's a pretty good concordance. There's quite a few things in there. I don't know how they decide what words not to put in there, but I'm going to mark this. Someone is at my house. I can hear them, the dog barking at them. Oh, it's not me. Good. I don't find soul. S M H I J K L M N O. Oh, so soil. No, soul is after. Sol sol. Oh, I see. We have to have a U. L M N O P Q R S T. Sour is before sour. Sound. So there it is. There it is. There it is. There we go. Okay. Pants for you. <laughs> okay. Sorry. Uh, pants oh God. for you. Oh God. Okay. Good. We're back to marking. My soul. Oh. First. For God, for the living God, when shall I come and appear before God? I just want to stop there for a minute because when I was doing my, con <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> oh, my conducting exam for my u uh, university degree, I had to conduct a beautiful piece of music that involved a choir and an orchestra that hat that <clears throat> I can't tell you who the composer is right now because it's gone out of my mind but it had those words it uses this text so beautiful okay sorry I interrupted my tears are not marking that a certain way mm -hmm. I've been my food day and night oh there's a time Yes. Oh, somebody brought me a delivery. That's what it was. Uh, while they, while they, which is adversaries. Mm, is it? I don't know. Where is your God? That's what I'm trying to figure out. My tears have been my food while they, I'm not even going to bother with it right now. Yeah, okay. That's a good thing because I didn't know what to do with it. Uh, where is your God? God. These things I remember, and I pour out my soul. Oh. Within me. 
For I used to go along with the throng and lead them in procession to the house of God. Now we were marking house, weren't we, in Romans? Yeah, hmm. And other places. Yeah, so I'm going to do it now. The house of God. Seems... I use, I have that nice gold. Um, where did it go? Oh, I made a little house. Good for you. Well, I can't find my gold. I can find my silver, but not my gold. Here's what the... is that noise outside? Um, oh, they're chopping up broken branches. They've been chopping up broken branches. It came out. We had that terrible storm last night. Oh, yes. And a lot of branches and things came down. Okay. I just wonder what that noise was. That's what it is. I used to go along in procession to the house of God with a voice of what? Joy. No, I joy. don't know how I mark joy. So. I mark it with a smiley face. Oh, that sounds good. I think I will do that. There. And Thanksgiving, a multitude keeping festival. Why are you in despair, O oh my soul? We were supposed to mark despair, weren't we? Yes, we were, and I, I haven't thought of how to mark it, so I just... <clears throat> I haven't needed, but I'm just going to see if I've got it <clears throat> in here anywhere. Yeah, I'm going to have it. That's De a good idea, because I might have marked it already. Destroy, despair. I didn't. Oh, so, okay, so despair um, in my concordance has uh, both Two normal... Meanings. Well, both noun and verb has to do with grief. So yeah. I'm going to mark it like grief, which is how I mark a teardrop. So why are you in despair, oh my soul? Okay, I'm marking it with a teardrop as well because I can't do why it. Have, why have you, soul, <clears throat> Did you get that? I'm I'm moved on a little bit in verse five. And why have you become disturbed with me within me? Yeah, so oh. the you the you in that is the soul. Why are you in this despair, oh my soul? He's talking to his own soul. And why have you, my soul, become disturbed within me? And there we have it, it says. Oh how did I nurse both? The only thing I wish these study Bibles had is those nice cutout indentations for the. Yeah, so when you turn the pages. So that you can go to the book. Yeah. Book quickly. Yeah. Well, oh. the next one I buy will have them. That's oh, after great. I finish studying this one. <laughs> Hope in God, for I shall praise again. Shall I shall again praise Him? For the help of his presence. Hmm. Oh my God. My soul. There's a lot of soul in this one. Mm hmm. Is in despair. Here it is again. Within me. <coughs> Excuse me. Therefore, I remember you. From the land of the Jordan and the peaks of Hermon, from Mount Mizar, deep calls to deep, deep, deep calls to deep, <laughs> the sound of your waterfalls, all your breakers and your waves have rolled over me. Oh, hold on a second here, because I'm marking references to water. So in the beginning, in the ver verse one, he says uh, he's talking about water brooks, and now yeah, it's water water a certain way. I I I squiggly underline it in, 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 with blue. Deep and I'm uh, deep. I think the deep is a reference to water. Deep calls to deep. At the sound of your waterfalls, at your breakers and your waves, 
all your breakers and oh and your waves have rolled over me so that's flat that's about water the Lord will command his his lost my thought for a minute there loving kindness oh yes In the daytime. That's a time phrase, of course. Yes, it is. And his song. Oh, you know how I marked that the, when I went through it one time before? I put a treble clef. I don't know how to, I can't draw that. Not artsy farty. <laughs> <laughs> I've been practicing it for many years, so it's very easy for me. Okay. A prayer to, okay, a song will be with me in the night. That's a time phrase. Yeah, I'll get to that in a second. Let me add it. Not as fast as you. A prayer to the God. Prayer to the God of my life. Mm -hmm. I will say, to God, my rock. Well, wait a minute. I gotta mark that because I always mark that. Oh, I hate it when the pen just doesn't want to. Okay, I see. To God, <laughs> God, my rock. Why, why have you forgotten me? Why do I go mourning? Mourning. Because of the opposition of the enemy. The oppression. Oh, yeah. Oppression. Sorry. Of the enemy. As a shattering of my bones, my adversaries mm -hmm. revile me while they mm -hmm. Say to me all day long. Where is all day Mark? long. All day long. It's a time phrase and I'm going to mark it, but I had to, I was finishing the sentence. Mm -hmm. Where is your God? Why are you in despair, oh my soul? Despair. Yes, I forgot about that. Oh my soul. And why have you, oh, that's soul. Yep. I marked it wrong. Oh. I don't think anybody's going to die of it. No, I don't think so. Um, become disturbed within me. <clears throat> Hope in God. For I shall yet praise him. The help of my countenance and my God. So what's your countenance? <laughs> I would say aura, but that just doesn't sound right. <laughs> yeah, well, it is. It's more than that. I know, but I, I realize that. Countenance is what we... Can't describe it right. I know what I want to say. Your countenance is your face. Your countenance is your face. So if your countenance is cast down, yeah, or if your countenance is lifted up, oh yeah, right. So your countenance is the way is the expression on your face. Oh, and I I just found a cup of coffee I lost since yesterday. I hope it's not sour. That would be disgusting. Tastes like coffee. <laughs> okay. Taste like coffee. <laughs> okay, so all right. So 
what is the overall feeling of this song? If you had to pick a word or two out of the text, what would it be? A lot of just hold on. Somebody's at my door. Oh, I'll pause. We'll be right back. We're back from our station break. <laughs> Brought to you by the neighbors. <laughs> okay, where were we, Adrian? There's a lot of it here about his soul. Yes. And despair and, tears. and despair and being disturbed. Wait and a minute. Yeah, how many times do we see despair actually? One, two, three times. And then he talks about tears, right? Yes. Mm. And he feels like uh as this is happening to him all day long. Okay, so uh, back to the text here. What does the, oh, excuse me. My asthma is particularly bad today. <laughs> what does the metaphor of a deer panting for water mean to us, to you? It's like we are constantly thirsty for the word of God. Mm. You know, or we should be. Well, there, I don't think that David's feeling any should be. No, but that's what I'm saying. To me, that's what it means. Okay, yeah. It means like the like 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 any animal thirsts for water. Mm -hmm. We should be thirsty for the word of God. Mm -hmm. So, what's the? Do we get an indication in this psalm what the problem actually is? Oh, maybe in verses 9 and 10. Yeah, it's where his enemies is, are reviling him. And... Yeah. So I, <laughs> excuse me, sounds to me like he's in deep depression here. He feels like there's, there's waters going over his head. Sounds like he's drowning. Yeah, his deep calls to deep at the sound of your waterfalls and your breakers and your waves have rolled over me. Oh, you know, that's, that happens, you know, when you have grief. Sometimes you just have waves and waves of it. And, it, you know, just when you think you're all right, then whoosh, they come back in. Yeah. He, uh, he is saying, why have you forgotten me? That's how grief, much grief he feels. He feels like God has forgotten him. So the, the metaphor of a deer panning for water. Um, <laughs> excuse me. To me, Well, if you're panting, you've been running, right? Oh, yeah. Or you, you've exerted yourself. So sometimes sometimes I have cried myself to sleep. I've been there. And the sobbing has been so hard. It just wears you out. And so in this place, I think that that's where the psalmist is, that he is worn out with his grief and with his sobbing. And look, it's been, this has been more than a day because my tears have been my food day and night. For how long, he doesn't say. He could say weeks and weeks or days and days, but he, it's, he's saying all day and all night. And in verse 4, he's thinking of something. Yes, he's remembering. He says, these things I remember and I pour out my soul within me. Because he remembers how he used to go along with the throng and, and now he's not. 
Yeah. So the it's a big contrast for him, that voice of joy and thanksgiving that he used to have when he went out with the throng in when they were keeping festival. And now he's just sobbing and tears and and all day long he's just thirsting for God. And uh, so in verse five, he 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 gives he's trying to get a hold of himself. What does he say? I didn't spare myself my feelings. Hoping he wants his soul to hope in God, mm -hmm. for he will praise God again. Yes. Where do we see that repeated? In verse eleven. Yes. So he's he's having to tell himself this twice. Why are you in despair of my soul, and why? Have you become disturbed within me? Hope in God, for I will yet praise him. So he's remembering, you know, the times when he was the praise, the worship leader, or at least he went out, you know, in festivals. I mean, this is particularly apt to me because I have been a praise and worship leader, a children's worship leader, a, a lot, most of my adult life. And... um well, we are in a season right now where the government has clamped down and prevented all of that. Yes. And I'm just one little person who feels this kind of deep, I'm not saying despair, but grief. All of, all of the church worship leaders and musicians, you know, I'm sure are feeling the same way. Or have felt this way in this season that we're in. What is his thing that he is? What what is keeping him afloat emotionally here? He remembers God from the land of the Jordan. Mm -hmm. Just hold on. Go back to where where we marked hope. I am. I'm just thankful for the help of the, he. The help is in God's presence. Okay, so he says, "Hope in God, for I'll again praise Him for the help of His presence." Yes. So he knows that God's presence is ever near, and he's going to. And even though right now he can't, even hardly catch his breath. In grief, he knows that he will again. Now, again, that is a time for it word. Again. So he knows that again is coming. He's not going to go so far down into the pit of depression that he can't get out again. Because he knows that he's going to praise God again. Why? Because his hope is... Because it's hopeless in God. Yes. And uh, he's praising him for the help of his presence. So he's looking into the future when he says again. He's saying <clears throat> that he knows there's going to come a time when he'll praise God. Looking back for the help of his presence. Right? All right, now, what does it say in verse 11? How does verse 11 differ? Read it. Okay. Why are you despair of my soul? Why have you become disturbed within me? Hope in God, for I shall yet praise him. The help of my countenance and my God. So we already discussed what countenance is. So how does how do they differ? Well, and the difference is, is the... It, He's in verse nine. It says, "Hope in God for sure. I shall again praise Him." Yes. But in in verse eleven, it says, "I shall yet praise Him." So he's speaking of a future time. Yeah. Right. Both of both of them, in a slightly different way. So what does he say at the end of verse five, and compare that, contrast that with what he says at the end of verse eleven? 
for the help of my of his presence. So he's going to praise God for the help of his presence. When he looks back and he said, yes, yes, you were helping me, right? Yes, but then in verse, at the end of verse 11, it says, the help of my countenance, which he's talking about his himself. His attitude, his face. His attitude, right? his face. Yeah. So I will yet praise him. Who is he? He is the help of my countenance and my God. So it's slightly different. It's a, it's, this is a really, I mean, even in English, the poetry sings. I'm sure it sings even better in the, uh, in the uh, because this is for the choir director, right? So not only do we have melodies, which uh, the melodies for these things are lost to us, as far as we know. Yeah. Um, but the words of the text, the lyrics of the song are not. So hope in God, for I shall again praise him for the help of his presence. And hope in God, for I shall yet praise him, the help of my countenance and my God. So um, so when he says that in verse 5, it's the reason for his praise. Yes. And in verse 11, it's who God is. Exactly. Which um, it's... It's poetically describing two different things, but making them, bringing them uh, together. So, so that's a wonderful thing, also, to be analyzing the po, po, poetry. All right, last question here: What is the an antidote? Oh my goodness, my mouth! What is the antidote for despair? In God. Hope in God and praising him. Yes. So sometimes we just have to turn on our favorite praise, worship music, yeah. whatever style it is, whatever it does to remind us to praise the Lord. All right. I think that's really great. If we were going to title this one, oh you know what i'm going to make this easy on me because i just really want to know where the as the deer yeah so that's what i'm just going to put for mine now that's not the theme of everything but that's going to help me find it psalm 42 is as the deer and for me in my i think as the deer panted for the water, so my soul longeth after thee. And that's as far as I'm going to sing. As the deer, that's what I'm going to put there. Great. Oh, I just put hope and praise in God. Yes. I'm going to put in the side here, antidote for despair. Hope and dot dot hope and praise in God. Good job. I stole that one right from you. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we've come to the day, the end of the day. We are uh, going to next time take up day six. And in that, we'll have Psalm 43 that we'll be going on to with some cross references. It's been a lovely time spending here with you. And I hope you have been as blessed as we have been, you people out there in YouTube land. Let's pray. Thank you, Lord. Thank you that our hope is in you and that no matter what the circumstances come along, we can still have hope and yet praise you. We understand from your word that this life is not all that there is to our eternal life, but yet we have a future glory awaiting for us and a, and a, an inheritance which is imperishable which cannot spoil or fade which is reserved in heaven for us because that's what your word says and we hope in you and we hope uh, in that uh, great reunion day that we'll have with our loved ones who've gone on before who have fallen asleep in jesus 
And we're thankful, Lord, that uh, we don't have to remain in despair, that we can apply your antidote. We can put on some wonderful praise and worship music and we can sing along or we can listen until our until we are able to sing along until our heart comes right round to uh to back to you instead of our circumstances so i just pray that you would keep reminding us of this that we as the deer pants for water can long for you and that you will quench our thirst because that is who you are living water for our weary and grieving souls you know lord who is grieving in great depths as we pray this prayer and i pray that you would just touch them where their heart hurts so much and that you would show yourself as their comforter their redeemer and their friend and tell them show them how they can place their hope in you through jesus christ in whose name I pray. Amen. All right, you guys, I'm signing off. I'll say sayonara, and I'll see you in the next one. And bye.